Well, Level Engine here for some more of Own Engine Negro, the 2016 remake to be specific. So in the comment of part one of this Let's Play, Darken the author of this hack said that you missed the story in the beginning. So I'm gonna go back here and see what the story is. I mean, he tried to translate it to English, it's not Portuguese like it originally was. So I'll be able to understand. Okay, so the Black Ninja definitely does refer to the villain in this game, Shadower who was known as Sombrio and known as Negro back in 2013. Tagua City was the more peaceful city in all Earth. I guess he means to say that Tagua is the most peaceful city in the Earth on Earth. However, many things starts happen here. Many people's killed and the big part of the city was destroyed. The reason? The Black Ninja, also known as Shadower. The reason of him making these things is unknown. But a man named Joy resolves to stop him. But one of the Shadow Wars servants learned the Joy's plan and took the action. You gotta take the action. When Joy is in your journey, Shadow appears and say, He he he, so you are the Joy. There is only one Joy. It's this guy, Shadow Wars. You'll pay for all you evil. Again, it should be your evil, not you. I'll no waste my time with a fool like you. Only here to tell that Earth is doomed. See ya. Hey, wait! Shadower disappeared. Damn, he disappear! Hi, Joy. Who are you? No time to it. You have to help me. Shadower threatened my planet and I need your help. What, this is someone from a different planet now? Are we getting into, like, inter- What? Shadower's gone intergalactic? Huh? You said Shadower? Let's show to him who is bad. You will trust me? Yes, I guess. So you know how to find him? Okay. So someone we don't know who it is. Okay, it's this weird guy with a white face and a red jumpsuit. He looks like a killer! So who that- that's who that other person is on the stage, clear screen. We don't know what their name is. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Maybe that person that's following Joy around is gonna actually try and do something bad to him later on in the game. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be like something like Radakuru again. Okay, a whole separate room just to explain the gimmick. Water sewer is not a good thing, can have various diseases. Okay. And something about the waterfalls in the background. <laughs> oh wow, I haven't seen that plant before. Okay, those are arrows. Telling you that there are invisible blocks there. And it looks like I have to. I can't even see the ceiling! Well, I can actually barely see the ceiling. I mean, sometimes you just shouldn't get carried away with the HDMA gradients. I can't even see the ceiling right now. I mean, there's some blocks that are stuck in the ground that you just can't grab. You can try all you want, but you can't take those blocks that are like halfway in the ground. So I just gotta build a bunch of bridges now, by the looks of it. I've done this many times. By far the most unique spin put on that bridge building was World Peace's Bridge Engineering. Never forget. Jump. It's a masterpiece. But no one ever said it was easy, and it's not. And oh yeah, I can actually stand here. These things throw a lot of fire. And now I don't have like fire flowers, so I can't just take them out from a distance. I gotta actually pass them. But we got our midpoint. I mean, the one that shoots three fire isn't as bad as the one that shoots like pretty much a fountain of fire. So yeah, don't fall in the water. I mean, the enemies don't seem to be affected. Maybe we just don't see what happens to the enemies once they fall in the water. It could be anything. Alright, I died. And now I gotta hop off of no blocks. Okay, at least this thing isn't shooting four fireballs at a time. 
Okay, I still have some things to dodge, sure. I mean, these note blocks don't help you when you try to dodge all these fireballs. You'll just get bounced. It's much tougher for you to just stay in one spot when you're constantly bouncing off a note block or something like that. Uh, I, got a, I know I got a wall jump up here or something. Wait. Okay, I was just doing it wrong. I thought for a second I couldn't wall jump, but no, I was doing it wrong. Okay, I can't kill this thing, right? I just have to get past it. Yeah, I guess so. We beat the level! We did it! No, seriously, who is that guy with the red mask? Or is he even a guy at all? That body is pretty na that body is pretty slender. That looks that waistline's very thin. I, I don't think that's a guy that's following Joy around. I've never seen a guy with a body shape like that. Smashing jungle. Yeah, I, I briefly I saw a video of this. And yeah. I was looking at the level and thinking to myself, am I going to be able to do this? This looks really tight and compressed. And you kind of have to go with the level's pace. Wait, what do I do here? This thing just stands in the way it breathes fire. Okay, it moves. So I was supposed to wait for it. Running into it is not a good idea. Okay, we'll just land here and somehow dodge it. So you really want to stay as cl close to the bottom of the screen as possible. Because of those logs that keep smashing down. Like, I gotta go right in this one tile block gap here. Duck there and I'll just not... That's how I avoid taking damage. Alright, what is that little white thing running around? It shoots fire too. I have to watch out for whatever that is. Tiny little white thing that looks like it's just done with one color. It also shoots fire, so I gotta be careful of that too. Ideally, I'd just kill it as soon as possible. Midpoint! Okay, you can actually dodge that. And it's more auto scrolling. I'm so lucky that that thing decided to just jump over me. If it hadn't, then well. I'd be dead if it hadn't. Now let's get to that scroll of fire. And hit that switch because I'm sure I need to. Yep. I'm impressed that I'm actually managing to survive this, despite the fact that there's very little room for you to move around at all. Okay, I know I have to hit it now. Then I have to grab this, run back, and then I'll have to use this switch later, a little later on too. Why this is built like this, but okay. Thought maybe an enemy was gonna hop up there. Oh my god, we survived. Down here. What kind of bugs me is that the log actually hides behind the the, the background. I wanna say that when I say background I mean the dirt tiles in the foreground. It doesn't really make much sense. Oh, there's that guitar riff again. Now, how am I gonna get up here? This thing hops off screen. Oh, never mind. Oh, this thing will just walk off the ledge. It doesn't really matter. Got him! For a split second, you can hear the overworld theme for Star Home Super Mario World. Temple of Canyon. Let's go. Some springs can be carried, other springs, no. I 
guess that one can't be, because I'd have picked it up by now. something. Not like I could just wall jump up there. There's spikes. So that's what I was missing. Just gotta still make sure I or hit like one of the fireballs. That too. Oh, and I died right near the ending, of course. I just hate it when that happens. I mean, it's even worse when you see the ending on screen. Dinosaur Canyon. <coughs> oh my god, look at how, look at how small the passages are. Wait, can you even pass them? Okay, you can pass them. I love how that little dinosaur is entirely white and there's like no color. <clears throat> I mean, this dinosaur is brown, sure, but when you jump on it, okay, I need to jump on one again. I mean, look at this, wow. I mean, at least there's not too many enemies, but still. <clears throat> there's my mushroom, I'll take it. Alright, what are these little things doing? They seem to be like passing through the ceiling and then just fall back down. <clears throat> I mean, look at this. I just jumped on one of those brown dinosaurs and it turned into a little white dinosaur. Like, logic. Holy crap. I'll get pushed under the muncher. <laughs> now I'm gonna jump off this guy. Get to the midpoint, sweet. Right now, this has to be done just right. Because there's this thing in the way. Now, how am I gonna do this? really jump on okay I can I guess <laughs> yeah you really do have to have that time done perfectly and nothing's up here despite the fact there's this one lone gray block just sitting there off the distance I got 
jump on vines and deal with dinos. Okay. I wonder if we're gonna get that dino boss again. If we do, I can imagine that he's not gonna be like he was in 2013. Again, where you literally just so much as let him land on the ground and stun you, you lose. Because before you can just jump again, he lands on the ground and stuns you again. Constantly resetting the timer. Pretty much, pretty much getting you stuck. <coughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> Why is one of the bullets shooting out of the wrong place? It's not even firing. One of the bullets, the one on top, isn't even firing from the cannon. It's firing from the skull on that cannon. I guess one of the bullet bill launchers has had a bad day. Now, how do I get across this pit? Yeah, I know this was here. It just despawned. <laughs> and now I have to slide under that little wall and then we get to... Yup. It's die now again. Just don't stun the ground. Keep me locked until you kill me, like last time. <laughs> last orb is with him, take it. Versus die now. And the boss is its own separate level. I mean, it's much more convenient this way. Well, maybe not so if you just try to put as many levels onto one submap as possible, but for the player, it's pretty convenient. If they die on a boss, they can just try again. They don't have to go through a whole level. Okay, I'm on the- YES! YES! I CAN MOVE! I CAN STILL MOVE! This is a great day. Now let's see how this boss fight picks up. I'm surprised it didn't damage me. Maybe because it was flashing, I don't know. I mean, you still have to worry about getting stunned on the ground, but... You can actually get back off the ground and continue fighting. When he lands. That was one thing I was gonna be checking for as soon as I saw this boss. I mean, had it still been 2013, I'd have lost by now. I mean, it's still a tough boss, kind of really fast jumping around. This is still a pretty challenging boss by the looks of it. I mean, it's, it's more doable. And I just beat him without six days. Hee <laughs> hee, you don't look so evil now. My legs are hurt. You never defeat Shadow Orb. Blah blah blah, shut up. Give us the orb. Alright, we beat Dino. And I'm guessing Joy's actually holding what looks like an orb in his hand. Is that an orb like? Or is that a human heart? Why am I thinking that's a human heart? And then we get the Mad Stony Fortress after that.